What's up, Libra? What's up? What's going on with you, baby? What's going on with you? You already know. You must sage, baby. You must sage, right? Keep all the negativity away, the drama, the extra, whatever ain't for you, whoever ain't for you, baby. You must sage, baby, okay? You must sage, honey, honey. It's getting nice out here, and it get, it's getting rowdy. It's getting rowdy, baby. It's just getting rowdy. Yes, yes. So welcome back, my lovelies. Welcome back to those of you who are new to my channel. Welcome. I am Lee, and I am about to bring you the tea, baby. Okay? We are going to send out the messages that are channeled from spirit we are going to throw uh some lovers oracles we will throw some tarot we will go with the flow from there baby we're spirit guys that's where we will go okay honeys that's where we will go spirit ancestors angel guys you are welcome into the room for a reading for our libra subscribers yes yes libra yes yes Ooh, you know, inhale the good shit, exhale the bullshit, baby. You already know, we gotta get some wash, you know. Let's spark up the wine and get some magic going on, baby. It's time for some wash, baby. Mm-hmm. About to make it do what it do, baby. About to make it do what it do. See what's up with your love life. With little messages the oracles have for you in your love life. Dig into the tarot and see what's going on, you know, up underneath where we ain't really looking, you know, when we googly eyed. <laughs> and, you know, hopefully get some clarity, a little advice, a little understanding. Some messages to help guide along the way in your soul's journey, baby. So make sure you subscribe. Please hit the notification bell. Take what resonates with you. What does not resonate with you, you please leave it behind. Don't want to apply pressure in your life, okay? If it doesn't fit, baby, you leave it for Cinderella. You tell a friend to tell a friend. Tara T. with Lee, she going to bring you the tea, baby. You might figure out what you need to know. Go check her out. We can help each other, help each other, baby. Please subscribe. Don't be shy. It's free, baby. Okay? And let's get it crack a lacking. Let's get it crack a lacking. Tapping into the energy of my Libra subscribers. Tapping into the energy of my Libra subscribers. <clears throat> Beware of what you are projecting. For the qualities you admire in one another, in one another, are qualities you both possess. Equally so. The qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. Okay? So be aware of what you are pro projecting. Okay? So, when you're dealing with somebody <laughs> that if you don't want no drama, don't start no drama. If you don't want no heat, you might want to stay the fuck out the kitchen. Okay? So, you might be dealing with somebody that can take, uh, uh, they let that shit out. They can take that shit. Okay? Maybe you, maybe them. Okay? And we have criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are. And your relationship will magically transform. So for some of you, there may be some mirroring going on. Okay? Um... I, I, I bust on you, you bust on me, 
Um, you break my heart, I break your heart. Um, I don't trust you, you don't trust me. Uh, you lie, I lie. Whatever. However, we're just criticizing. You don't do shit right. You can't do shit right. Uh, whatever. However, however it is and whatever is going on over there. <laughs> if you can do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind. For the heart is the gateway to the soul. If you can do anything, what would it be? Okay, we got three over there. Yes, yes. Yes, yes, Libra. So, y'all may be treating each other some type of kind of way. Um, what you get is what you give. What you give is what you get. In a lot of times, especially if you're dealing with somebody that can dish it and take it, okay? Dish it and take it. Spirit said, what's good for the goose is good for the gander. So I guess that's what type of time y'all be on. Okay, what's good for the goose is good for the gander. Problem with the situations like that is that you can be a blocking somebody that that may bring you a different type of fulfillment um blocking a blessing with someone else blocking a new experience blocking um yourself from being happy because you know y'all just on this back and forth bullshit Uh, it may be hard for y'all to accept each other because y'all may be used to already being at each other's necks or whatever. Um, maybe since y'all mirroring each other, maybe you want to change some things within yourself so that it can reflect out and maybe your mate will catch on and also change his or her ways. Messages for our Libra subscribers. Messages for our Libra subscribers. A little advice, a little clarity. Picking up on the aura of my Libra subscribers. What they need to know. Whoa, that's too many. They kind of flipped. I'm not going to keep them because they flipped in my hand. And it was a lot. So yeah, baby, what's good for the goose is good for the gander. If you want change, be change. Criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Mortality. Life is brief. Life is brief. Bright, beautiful, and yours. And yours to live. Yes, and yours to live. Life is brief, bright, and beautiful, and yours to live. Um, somebody got a mask on in this card. Unless that's a skeleton with a soul still attached. Life is brief, baby. Why live it unhappily? Clock time, time, pressure, in a rush. Yes, in a rush. Okay, so you have one life to live, one life to live. Life is brief, bright, and beautiful. If you choose to live it that way, if you choose to uh, um, start with self right so that it can reflect out because it says time tick 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 baby it don't work for no one but 
some of you may be uh, in a rush or some of you may be feeling pressured like you're running out of time and some of you you may be feeling like you're running out of time uh, I'm not quite sure if you're running out of time in this relationship like you're losing your patience with this shit or follow the white rabbit follow your spirit guide baby yep curiosity meets opportunity follow your intuition follow what you feel inside it's gonna make you happy so it's gonna help you to live a bright and beautiful life okay because time keeps ticking tick 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 it doesn't wait for anyone and um uh you know the back and forth the tit for tat the um the back and forth and tit for tat can last forever too long and the time keeps going tick 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 and you know we only got one life to live so do you want to live it happy fulfilled content you know in love um equal give and take or do you want it um live it in a um tip for tap matter you know oh but you did this oh but you did that oh but you know it, it, it takes a long time like to get out of situations like that but it's up to you if you can do anything what would it be if you can do anything what would it be what would it be libra going into the tarot baby we moving into the tarot the lovers the lovers first went out major choices major choices in love yes um major choices in love in partnerships and relationships um oh, it felt like something flipped but it didn't make sure i put it in right yes uh major choices in love if you can do anything what would it be if you can do anything what would it be Ooh, and then we got oh we got the lovers and then we got the three of cups okay so we may be having some kind of engagement maybe an engagement party some kind of celebration some kind of celebration with friends some kind of uh it can be wedding it can be engagement party it could be happy times baby happy times major choices and then we got reunions or happy times or like a gathering of friends and family um, and then we got the two of pentacles the two of pentacles balance balance ups and downs life is not always going to be good life is not always going to be bad okay it just depends on what actions are you taking to create some type of balance in your life okay honeys um so for some of you you may be um balancing finances your love life um your home life um your social life um And then we got the king of wands so we got a king baby we got a king baby we got the king of wands under the lovers so your majesty done hit the motherfucking deck we got the king of wands aye aye baby <laughs> So for some of you, this may be someone that's friendly, somebody that's um, fearless, uh, someone who loves adventure, um, uh, wands are um, Leo, Sagittarius, 
uh, Leo Sagittarius. Leo Sagittarius, someone with uh, vision. Um, there's another sign. Uh, it's a fire sign. Uh, Aries, Aries. Someone with vision, someone with ambition, someone outgoing, someone um, passionate, right? Um, it's the king on deck, baby. The king on deck under the oh Lord have mercy. So in the center of your reading, Libra, you are standing your ground. You are standing your ground. Libra is standing your ground, Libra. We got the seven of wands, more wands. Okay. So uh, you're standing your ground. Like there must, there can be arguments, um, misunderstandings. Um, um, standing up for your beliefs. Fighting for what you believe in, standing, standing your ground, um, uh, probably communicating with someone like, no, this ain't what I want, this ain't how I want it, or the fact that there's a reflection between two people, maybe that is creating, you know, some kind of um, an environment, hostile environment, maybe. And then we have uh, the fool, baby, freedom. Freedom, um, freedom, a new beginning, um, a lack of commitment. Okay, so for some of you, you may be, you may feel like your mate uh, is doesn't want to commit. Fire sign, probably chasing shiny things. Uh, fire sign may have uh, options, lots of options, choices. Uh, you may be dreaming about your options. Oh, yeah, we got the star. Um, hoping and praying that things get better, maybe. Um, you may be evaluating your options so that you can know which way you are headed, which way you want to go in this new beginning. A new beginning that leaves you with options that can make your dreams come true. Baby, yes. Inspiration. The star. Hope. Inspiration. Um, calm. Contentment. Renew, renewal of serenity. And then you got the hangman, baby. Feeling trapped and confined. So for some of you, you may be um, trying to balance your feeling, your, your freedom, and For some of you, you may feel like, for some of you, someone may offer you an engagement, an actual engagement. Excuse me. Someone may offer you an actual engagement that that may cause you to start thinking. Start thinking about your options, checking your options, thinking about your options. Um, is this good for me? Is this my wish come true? Or do I pick another option? Uh, what should I do? Whatever, whatever. Because of a feeling trapped or, or confused. Um, so you may be limited 
the limiting yourself, holding yourself back from moving forward, either out of the situation or into a stronger commitment that came out in the beginning. Remember, we had the lovers up front in the tarot. We had the lovers and then we had the three of cup, which can could can be some type of engagement, some type of wedding, some kind of celebrations, some happy times, or whatever. We also have the fool. The fool. Well, in this card, the fool has a little flower. But in the other card, the fool has a nice rock. Which always makes me feel like it's taking a, a, a chance with an engagement or, you know, take, taking a leap of faith with someone, towards someone. Okay? So. So, for some of you, you may need time to reevaluate because you may be feeling trapped. Like, you don't know if you're giving up your freedom in order to have this relationship with this person. Um, for some of you, um, think about it. Think about it. Because... Is that beware of what you are projecting for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess. And then we have, uh -huh. and then we have, actually I was supposed to end there. Okay, we're going to end it there. I'm not going to go there, guys. <laughs> we had our tarot. Um, I started talking, I kept going, but we're not going to go there. We're not going to go there, honeys. Let's see the hidden truth. What he may think, what he may feel. Tapping into the energy of my Libra subscribers. Energy. Okay? It can be you. It can be them. Okay? Uh, it could be he. It can be she. Tapping into the masculine energy. Okay, babies? Here we go. What he may think, what he may feel, I feel so drawn to you. What he may feel, what he may think, I feel so drawn to you. For my Libra subscribers, I drop that. The pollen around here is getting crazy. And my sinuses are getting, I can feel them coming. Through. My whole face starts itching. Uh, uh, what he may think, what he may feel, I won't let you down. Okay, so somebody may be bringing a proposal to the table, an engagement. Will you marry me, baby? Will you marry me? Okay, it said follow the white rabbit. Okay, so make sure that you think about it, you know, you pray on it. Right? It said clock time. Somebody is in a rush. Time, pressure, in a rush. Down here, feeling trapped, confined, okay? Self-limiting, uncertainty, lack of direction, baby. Okay, so you may be feeling pressure in this situation. If it's no, baby, it's no. Okay, if you have to question yourself and reevaluate your whole life and, and all this, then it's no. I mean, really. It says, I do love you. Okay? I do love you. And I don't know what you want. Tell them if this is someone that you love, if this is someone that you care for. Um, and you feel trapped and you feel pressured, you may want to um, conversate this with them and let them know that I love you too. I just do not feel as though I'm ready for marriage. It's a big commitment. Um, it's a bonding. Um, you know, personally, for me, it's not that I don't want to get married. Absolutely, I do want to get married. I don't want to get divorced. And so if I have to second guess and I have to wonder if 
this is the right thing to do or whatever? And the answer is no. Sometimes you answer your own questions, baby. Okay, don't underestimate yourself. Sometimes those are the signs. When your body feels trapped, when your mind feels like, uh, like you know, like, like, like you're pressured and, and you have to make decisions, you know, and, and choices, and, and you're not ready to make those decisions and choices, then don't let nobody um, force you into them. No. If they love you, you're not saying that you want to end the relationship. You're just saying you're not ready to get married. The hell? Right? I wish I could share my good news with you. What she may think, what she may feel. I wish I could share my good news with you. Okay? So, for some of you, you may feel intimidated. Probably even with the person. So, you probably don't want to find yourself in a situation where you have to be walking on thin ice. It says, I want you. I love you unconditionally. Like I was saying, you're not saying that you don't love them. Right? And you're not saying that you don't want to be with them. Right? All you're saying is that I'm not ready for marriage. If that's the case. If that's what's keeping making you feel trapped. If that's what's making you feel tr uh, pressure. If they're giving you like a time stamp. Like by this time we need to be married. Uh, why? I mean... Unless it's a, like a life and death situation or, <laughs> I don't know, is your life. There can be, I'm quite sure, many reasons that a person wants to rush into marriage. But personally feeling, if I have to second guess, if I have to question myself, if I feel trapped and pressured, then I the answer is no. Like, honestly, the hell? Well, tell them maybe. Tell them, tell them maybe, you know, tell them maybe, tell them maybe, tell them I love you unconditionally and I want you to, and uh, maybe, you know, I am open to the situ, to the, to the, ooh, I am getting itchy, open to the, to maybe one day taking that leap of faith, but at the moment, um, maybe not, because, let's look, I'm so attracted to you, so, so, the masculine's energy, what he may think, what he may feel, is that he don't know what you want, I feel so drawn to you, I won't let you down, I do love you, I don't know what you want, feminine, I wish I could share my good news with you, so the feminine may be holding back, okay, because the feminine is feeling pressured, okay? It says, I want you, I love you unconditionally, and I'm so attracted to you. But there's a feeling of entrapment. There's a feeling of um, not sure. There's a feeling of, you know, um, criticizing one another and some kind of unhappiness, okay? Until you're not willing to love and accept each other as you are, okay, your relationship will not change. So you do not want to create in your mind that this is going to change because you get some kind of paperwork bonding you to someone, right, that you already have this conflict with whether it's exactly with them or if it's mentally in it um intimately to yourself either way either way um if you're questioning yourself then the answer is no okay if you're questioning yourself with something so important something so um um something traditional, something um, that means the world to most people, something so um, honorable and um, at 
such as marriage, then maybe you need more time, okay? Maybe you need more time, and if someone really truly loves you, or you really truly love someone, then time is something that you can give, okay? You can give some time to get this shit understand if we're going to balance it out or what we're going to do for real, for real. Because in the center, there's conflict, and you're standing your ground, okay? So don't doubt yourself. Don't doubt yourself, and then later on be like, oh, my God, I knew I shouldn't have did this. Don't do that. Ascending. You are ascending, baby. Transcending obstacles, learning expansion, new phase, preparing for union. Preparing for union. I've been saying it this whole time. There's an engagement. There's a wedding. There's there's a movement, for movement, okay? For movement of some type of trying to get attached. But there's also someone that feels trapped. Someone who feels like they're being rushed, okay? Okay? If you feel that way, do you really think it's, I mean, it's your life, baby. It's not my life, right? So I don't know. Um, there's a feeling of entrapment here. Um... I'm hoping that for some of you, you make the right decision. Um, you take time to, uh, I don't know, it's a hand of cards. Take a chance. Risk. Being strategic. Options. Not showing your hand and gambling. Options. Taking a risk. The fool is taking a risk. A girl with a snake. So for some of you, you may be an empath, okay? You may be an empath dealing with a narcissist who wants to entrap you. And that's why all your red flags and all your bells and all your angel guys and all your ancestors and everybody is like making you feel uncomfortable, making you feel uh, questioning it, questioning yourself, uh, making you feel like like standing your ground is because you are dealing with a narcissist and that may be why this person wants to get married and trap you in a in a in a in a legal bond okay and you have to be careful with that being charmed or used enable boundaries honey Babies, Libra, if you have to second guess yourself when someone asks you to marry them, then the answer is no. Okay, honey? Then the answer is no. As a matter of fact, ask your question, baby. Ask your question because my grandbaby is up and I got to go. <laughs> so ask your question, honey. Ask your question. Extra questions to your angels, Libra. Here we go, babies. I'll give you a moment. Think about it. Okay. Yes, you love this person. Yes, this person loves you too. The problem is that you may be an a empath and they may be a narcissist. And so, therefore, you will end up giving so much more of yourself and losing yourself. And they won't give a fuck. So choose wisely, baby. Choose wisely because your dreams, they do come true. You have, I literally just seen the word dreams and then the star is the very next one. Okay, so your dreams, they do come true. Okay. Lots of options, choices, multiple possibilities, opportunities, picking and choosing, decisions, procrastination, Dreaming, fantasy, illusion, wishful thinking, imagination, hallucinations. And then we have hope, inspiration, creativity, calm, contentment, renewal, serenity, spirituality, healing positivity, faith, 
renewal, healing, and rejuven rejuvenation, which is under standing your ground. Standing your ground. So this little celebration, you may want, it may be with your friends for standing your ground. Hopefully you said no, baby. <laughs> no. Because the whole row of you standing your ground is yes. Okay, let me see the side. That one is yes and no, the lovers. And then we have no for the seven of cups, which is dreams. Okay, so you need to see that shit for what it really is. Okay, and we have no over here with the hangman. Feeling trapped, confined, self-limiting. -limit Uncertainty, lack of direction, needing release, letting go, sacrifice, waiting, lack of direction, perspective, and contemplation. So, answering questions for my subscribers of Libra. Please like, send me a little comment, hit the, the notification bell, hit all so that you can be notified for when it's tea time, babies. Please subscribe, don't be shy, it's free, honey. It's free, baby. Make it do what it do. Tell a friend to tell a friend, baby. It's tea time. It's tea time. And they might not they might need to know what's up. With, what's up with the tea? What's up with the what's up, baby? Answers to the questions of my Libra subscribers. Answers to the questions of my Libra subscribers. Perfect timing. Perfect timing, baby. Perfect timing. Okay, so it's a, a it's a matter of um oh Lord have mercy. It's a matter of following your intuition. If you are doubting this engagement, if you are doubting this person, if you are doubting, then those are the signs telling you that this is not for you. If you are feeling good about this situation, if you are if this is your wish come true for some of you, then you're not doubting it. Understand? You're not doubting it. You feel as though this is perfect timing. Uh, it is what it is. Um, I hope that you are not the narcissist. Okay, I'm just going to keep it real. It says, yes, perfect timing. Yes. Okay, can we get one more for, here we go, and no. <laughs> perfect timing. Yes, and no. Yes and no. And it, the lovers was yes and no. Okay, babies? So that was your tea, babies. That was your tea. These damn things all in my face. Have a great day, babies. Make it do what it do. Stay positive. Always, always with good intentions. Follow your intuition so that you can make the right choices. Okay, honey? Smooches.